In this problem, we will now find cyclic subgroups. This is a cyclic subgroup generated by 3 bar and cyclic subgroup generated by 5 bar in the group Z10 with respect to the operation addition modulo 10. So now we all know what are the elements of Z10. The elements of Z10 are from 0 bar to 9 bar and 10 bar will be treated as 0 bar and so on. So now let us go for the definition of what is the, the definition of cyclic subgroup generated by A. The cyclic subgroup generated by A is the set of all elements of the form A raised to n where this n is a integer. So this is the definition of our cyclic subgroup generated by A. Now when I go for the first problem, so that is a cyclic subgroup generated by 3 bar, I am going to write all the positive and negative powers of the set 3 bar. So I will get 3 bar raised to 0, 3 bar raised to 1, 3 bar square and so on. Similarly I will also calculate the negative powers 3 bar raised to minus 1, 3 bar raised to minus 2 and so on. Right? Now what is the meaning of 3 bar raised to 2? We know that the operation is modulo 10. So actually 3 bar raised to 2 means 3 bar plus 3 bar modulo 10. So 3 bar square is not 9 bar. 3 bar square is 3 bar plus 3 bar. Right? So what is 3 bar raised to minus 1 in that case? 3 bar raised to minus 1 means inverse of 3 bar. What is the inverse of 3 bar? in Z10. We know that in Z10 the inverse of 3 bar is 6 bar because 3 bar uh, plus, I am sorry not 6 bar, the inverse of 3 bar is 7 bar because 3 bar plus 7 bar is how much? Identity which is 0 bar. Okay. So this is the meaning of 3 bar raised to minus 1. So for the time being I will not look at the negative powers. I will start looking at the non-negative powers of 3 bar. So what is 3 bar raised to 0 bar? 3 bar raised to 0 bar means according to our theorem we know that a raised to 0 in a group is always equal to identity. So who is the identity of this group of Z10? It is 0 bar. So 3 bar raised to 0 bar this actually that person is 0 bar. Then 3 bar raised to 1 bar is 3 bar alone. 3 bar square means 3 bar plus 3 bar which is 6 bar. Then 3 bar cube will be 9 bar. 3 bar raised to 4 means 3 bar plus 3 bar plus 3 bar plus 3 bar is 12 bar and that will become 2 bar. Then 3 bar raised to 5 is 15 bar. 15 bar modulo 10 will become 5 bar. 3 bar cube is 18 bar. 18 bar will become 8 bar. Then 21 bar becomes 1 bar. Okay. And uh, then we have 24, 24 becomes 1 bar. And have we finished all the elements of Z10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is left. Okay, 27 means 3 bar powers 9 will be 27 bar, but 27 bar is 7 bar. Okay, are the, all the elements of Z10 covered? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So all the 10 elements are over. So this set is actually nothing but again our Z10. So this means that the cyclic subgroup generated by 3 bar is coming up to be equal to Z10. So let me write that conclusion here. So cyclic subgroup generated by 3 bar is complete Z10. Right? Now what is, now I hope the cyclic subgroup generated by 5 bar will be clear to all of us. We will know that 5 bar raised to 0 bar and 5 bar raised to 1 bar, 5 bar raised to 2, 5 bar raised to 3 and so on. I'm, I'm not going to, for the time being, I'm not looking at the negative powers because they will be adjusted in the positive powers itself. So this will be identity of the group. The identity of the group Z10 is 0 bar. Then this is 5 bar. This is 5 bar plus 5 bar is 10 bar and 10 bar is again 0 bar. So this person is 0 bar, this person is 15 bar, 15 bar will become 5 bar 
and therefore I will get zeros, fives, zeros, fives repeated fashion. So this means that the cyclic subgroup generated by phi bar contains only two elements and those two elements are zero bar and phi bar. So this is the way you really calculate the cyclic subgroups generated by elements. So with this, our problem of finding the cyclic subgroup gets over.